Hello, SDSA family and friends. This is Mr. Bauer, principal of SDSA, and with me today I have my assistant principal, Melody Hubner. And we are really excited to have you join us this year. So to kick off our open house, we created a short little video about some of the ways that we're going to be operating this year, not just for our parents, but for our students as well. So please pay attention and feel free to review the video as much as you need to and reach out to us with questions. So first things first, here at SDSA, for those of you who don't know, the mission of our school is to facilitate student learning and achievement through the arts. And that's really why we ask all of our students to uh, show their best every single day and really push themselves. And one of the things that we tasked our staff with this uh, week as we came back was to make sure that we really focus and reconnect on achievement through the arts this year and really through arts integration. So look for more new and exciting activities coming your way this school year. We have several changes in our staff in our elementary area. Our kindergarten is Lisa Forey and Danielle Squalante. Our first grade, Wendy McCabe and Jordan Espada. Our second grade, Robin Hall and Kenya Purnell. Third grade, Mary Litchfield and Lisa McNeil. Fourth grade, Andrea, Andrea Fisher, Megan Allen, and then when Megan Allen goes out for maternity leave, Sarah Powell. And then for fifth grade, we have Brianna Dalton and Michelle Justice, and our interventionists will be Stephanie Fair and Dor Dory Johnson. And for our middle school and arts team, for sixth grade, we have Ryan Lewis teaching math and science, and we have Wendy Webb teaching ELA and social studies. In our seventh and eighth grade team, we have Matt Bauer teaching social studies, Lisa McCabe teaching math, Lisa McVeigh teaching science, and Amanda Swain teaching ELA. Our arts team, we have Lorraine Le uh, Level, formerly Steinhoff, She'll be teaching drama. Joining us this year, we have Karen Lettenoff as our art teacher. Allison Bauer is our dance teacher. Melody Onishuk is teaching instrumental. And Mary Caligiri is teaching vocal. Joining us this year to help teach physical education and health is Brian McGowan. And our two interventionists for the year are Matt Mayette teaching math and Dana Murray for ELA. We also have a new special education coordinator and that's Jennifer Flowers. Uh, our special education teachers are Aaron Bullock and Kareen Serafini. And we have a Heather Gardoski is our teacher uh, slash ELL teacher. We are retaining our paraprofessionals, Wendy Rischel and Don Schultz. Other specialists are Barbara McMillan, our nurse, Nikhil Lobo, our reading specialist, Victor Victoria McMahon, our new school counselor, and Charity Sample, our mental health counselor. And as far as the way our school year is going to start this year, ladies and gentlemen, we have our district kindergarten and sixth grade students joining us on Tuesday, September 7th. Gives them a chance to come in to get to know the building and to kind of see how everything operates um, as they are the first ones entering the building to kind of give them a leg up on everybody else. And then all of our students will join us on September 8th. Our student instructional day runs from 8 until 2.15. We're going to start our dismissal shortly after that. You go ahead with parent drop-off. Oh, okay. you, you, you've got this. Sounds good. All right, so parent drop-off will begin in the uh, morning at 745. We'll utilize the same procedures that we did last year. And if you take a look at the map, we have a green, a yellow, and a red line at the top. And what that does is kind of denote roughly where we need to start saying our good boy, uh, good boy uh, try that again, goodbyes to our students. Um, in the green section, start to make sure that they're getting ready to go. Yellow, make sure they're masked and have all their belongings. So by the time you hit the red section to stop, our students can just open the doors and come on into the building. Uh, dismissal will start at 2.15 um, for students, and we'll start our parent pickup process at 2.20. And we ask that during the entire process, whether it's parent drop-off or parent pickup, that you all stay in your vehicles if you are a parent dropping off a child. And if you are at one of our shuttle sites, we ask that you please be prompt to your site because there is a lot of traffic going on, especially the first weeks of school. So we ask that you please make sure that you provide yourself with additional time to get ready prior to the start of school for the day. Here at SDSA, we're gonna continue with blended learning. Our staff will use, utilize blended learning approaches to meet the needs of our students. We have two learning management systems. Uh, the K through 12 will use, K through two <laughs> will use Seesaw and three through eight will use Schoology. Class Dojo will be used for communication only, no instruction. Activities will be more engaging and project-based project with arts and technology integrated to, into them. And each student will be issued a Chromebook the first day of school. Yep. So 
In order to make sure they are ready to use those Chromebooks, um, we ask that you please visit the student portal uh, for more information. Um, that it specifically log on to the ClassLink application portal, and that should actually give you all the information as far as logging in and all the different resources and apps that we have available for our students. Our expectations for learning is to approach each day with an open and optimistic mindset. Be an advocate for yourself and your child. We want to hear what we're doing right and ways that we can work together to support your child. Familiarize yourself with the digital learning tools. Most importantly, be comfortable with the Schoology and Seesaw. Our motto here is to show respect, dress your best, strive for success, and attitude is everything. And as you're going through and working through the, uh, the whole technology piece and our students are pushing themselves to be their best, if there's anything that comes up along the way, we do still have our tech tool website available for easy reference. Uh, again, that's under the student portal. Um, it was new last year and it's still gonna be up and running this year. So you can get a lot of all the important information from there as we go along throughout the year, as far as how to utilize the new Chromebooks that our students are receiving. Our attendance policy. The Indy River School District is offering a five-day instructional week, and to maximize the learning experience for all students, it's required that they attend school in person. Please utilize the COVID screening protocol call daily created by the CDC, and we will expect doctor's notes or parent notes um, if your student is absent, and they are mandatory for th them to be excused. And we do ask that prior to beginning the school day that our students do take the time to do a quick little self-screener um, making sure that they do not have any COVID or COVID-like symptoms, um, just as we did last year. And if there's any, any concern, any questionable pieces about it, please keep your children home. That way we can keep everybody safe in our building and um, within your home as well. So when in doubt, just stay home and let the office know. We are going to maintain our safety protocols this year with social distancing, distancing in the school each day. We're going to use the cafeteria and gym for lunches. And we are gonna, we did build in mask breaks into our schedule so that students won't become mask fatigued. So we have staggered transitions and bathroom breaks and dismissal. Our art classes will still occur uh, with just some slight modifications to ensure the safety of all students and staff. And as we're talking about safety protocols, all students must wear at least a two ply mask while they're in the building. And it can be any mask of your choice as long as it's covering your mouth, mouth and nose at all times and it must adhere to the guidelines set forth in the student dress code policy. Guidelines in regards to playground use will be available for students as well during the first couple days of school so that we all follow the same protocols moving forward. The mask guidelines. If your student or a student arrives at school without a face covering, one will be provided to the student. If the student removes the face covering, they'll be prompted to replace it. And if a student refuses to wear or replace the mask, this, the parent will be contacted so we can work together to ensure the safety of all our students. And I'd also like to talk about our PTO and share some information from those, them as well. Um, this year they're asking for a $10 due if you're interested in joining the PTO. And um, there's two ways that you can become a member. You can either fill out the packet that will be sent home the first couple days of school, or if you don't want to wait and you want to uh, sign up right now, go to www.dragonspto.org and complete the form there. And if you are one of the people that does sign up this year, the two um, cornhole boards that are above our picture in the video um, will be raffled off this year. So, you know, make sure you do sign up early and feel free to, you know, put in your... Uh, ticket to make sure that you have a chance to win those. They do look pretty cool and they do have the PTO SDSA logo. School choice. There's an application window for that from November through January and you'll see the website that you can go for looking up the school choice information. Students are chosen and notified by June 15th for the upcoming year. Yep. And I do want to point out too, ladies and gentlemen, that once your child is enrolled at SDSA, you do not need to reapply for school choice. However, if they have a sibling that you would like to have join us in, in the upcoming school year, they would be required to fill in the school choice application. As far as medicines in school, um, the school nurse will be accepting medications along with all documentation that needs to be signed and, and per state law. Medicines must be in the original prescribed labeled container that includes the student name, the medication, and the directions for administering the, the medicines. And please note that students are not allowed to bring it to school themselves. They must have parents bring it to, to the building. 
So please contact the nurse directly to arrange for your medication drop-off prior to your student's uh, scheduled arrival day. The school nurse can be reached during regular school hours at 436-1066, or you can email her, Barbara McMillan at irsd.k12.de.us. And also, at some point in the first week of school, we ask that you please take the time, and this will be coming out as well, um, to update the supplemental forms that are always sent out um, ahead of time um, for our students to make sure we have everything um, taken care of. That includes the student emergency treatment card, the health history, the code of conduct, the digital use agreement, which will be sent home with the Chromebooks this year, and a whole bunch of other forms, including like the hand sanitizer consent form. Um, but there is a link on the district website for the supplemental forms as well that you can use to submit them and submit them to sd.forms at irsd.k12.de.us. Our book this year is going to be Fish in a Tree. We have a one book, one school initiative. All students, parents, and staff will be reading the book, Fish in a Tree. Weekly tasks will be shared by your, te your child's teacher and tied into our school activities. Why this book? Celebrating Our Differences was chosen because one of, each one of our students and staff members are unique in their own way, and it's those differences that make SDSA an amazing place to be. Yep. And as we go along and read the book, you, should, or you will see just how unique the differences are in the characters and how much it actually can be relatable to our everyday life here at SDSA. So with that being said, that is the end of our administrative piece of our open house. And we ask that if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. Um, my address is travis.bauer at irsd.k12.de.us. And I'm melody.hubner at irsd.k12.de.us. Yep. And as always, our phone number is 302-436-1066. We're looking forward to a great start to the school year, welcoming back all of our students, and we wish each and every one of you a safe and happy return. We'll see everybody starting on September 7th or 8th. Enjoy your evening.